Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, this is the last video of 2020. I uh, just want to take the opportunity just to wish everyone a happy Christmas and thank you all for subscribing. Uh, my own students and anyone else who is subscribing, I know I've got some new subscribers from Monaghan, so thank you to everyone, whether you're a student of mine or not. Thank you for all the feedback you've given me on the videos. I've really enjoyed it so far. I'm looking forward to going um, further with it in 2021. Uh, quick shout out to some of my colleagues as well, Mr. Fox, Mr. Nocton, Mr. Purcell, Mr. O'Connor McGuire uh, and Mr. Cogaman. Thank you for all the help and feedback so far. Uh, so without any further ado everybody, let's get into the last video of 2020. Wishing you all a happy Christmas and a happy new year. Thanks for watching and let's get into the video. Okay everyone, so today we're going to continue looking at our double pole, double throw, center off switch. But this time we're going to add in speed control. So speed control can be done very easily with a Weber resistor or a potentiometer as it's known as. Now this is the best type of potentiometer I find. You can get the kind of thin blue ones you might be familiar with, but these ones in my opinion are by far the best. So when we use the three pins, if you're using it in say a transistor circuit with a voltage divider, um, that's when it's used the potentiometer. But we're going to be using just two pins, so one of the either ones on the outside and the middle one. Uh, and that will be used as a variable resistor. So um, I'm just going to do the double pole, double throw switch quickly because I need a new one. You've seen it before um, if you've watched the double pole, double throw center off video. So let's just cue a quick time lapse now. Okay, so now it's time for the close-up on how to set everything up on the copper strip board. So we want to get our switch. And remember, you want your lines going horizontal. If you have the lines going like this, you're just going to connect everything together. So make sure your copper strip board is horizontal. We just put the double pole, double throw switch. We get the back down the bottom um, left and then the red up the top. The next step then is connect the red of our variable resistor to the red of the double pole. Jump down a few lines, put in the other side of the variable resistor. So you can see that I just connected there to the middle and to the outside. And then lastly, the back of the variable resistor, we get the red of the motor. And then the black of the motor must go all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to solder that up now and we'll give you a closer look. So, when we've trimmed off the excess, this is what it looks like. So we've got the red and the black coming in from the double pole, double throw switch. We've got the red and black of the variable resistor here. And then we've got the red and black of the motor. Now you don't need the copper strip board for this, but I just find the copper strip board really tidy. Um, so let's get to the testing phase now. Uh, that's just a quick look at the back as well. So remember, if you have anything more than two on the one line, um, you've gone wrong somewhere. So let's look at this now. So when I connect my battery, turn my double pole, double throw switch. So you can see there it's going quite slow. So when I adjust the variable resistor, that's notably faster. I can switch the direction with the double pole, double throw. And slow it down. or speed it up. Like that. Now, 
something that's really nice as well on a project see this hole here i think it's around eight or nine millimeters so you can drill a hole for that and you can get a nut to screw it in if you get one of these caps then like that that looks really nice you can get different colors to match your um project and that just adds it uh, a nice little touch to it so that's adding speed control to the double pole double throw center off switch it's asked for quite a lot in a project and even if it's not asked for it can be quite um, a nice little addition to add as you can see it's not too much work really it's just a couple well one more component really and a little bit more soldering so hope that helps thank you for watching everybody and see you all in the next video